surprise another ceramic house hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new thank you so much for clicking on today's video i am just about to go out for some lunch i'm meeting one of my friends for lunch meeting molly and we're just gonna have a little catch up and then i am finally gonna go to hobbycraft pick my order up because they've had it in stock for a week now they've had it like my order behind the till for a week and then i can finally show you all of the affordable christmas decor that i picked up ages ago it feels like now and do a little mini haul, a little hobbycraft haul when I'm back. I'm in my teddy coat again, it's just the ultimate cosiest winter coat, I love it. And it's, it actually keeps me so warm, it was only maybe like £50 from ASOS but you can always get a student discount from someone. And then I'm just in a little beige jumper, black mini skirt from Zara, found these unopened pack of 15 denier tights in my wardrobe. And I, I really like the ones that are like really low denier because you can kind of see through the tights a little bit more and then I've just got my new look boots on and mulberry bag and I'm feeling all neutral but super cosy. I'm just home now and I'm about to go out with Jake to go and get the hobby craft order and then I'll show you what I got but I just thought I'd show you my new beauty bits so my new fake tan came I got a question last week asking what fake tan I use so it is this one I feel like really out of the like out of the loop because I still use this one and like I know most people use like a mousse or like the Molly May one but I once changed fake tans and it was just awful and it and it faded really awfully and I looked like a scaly lizard like with scaly lizard skin but this one from Saint Tropez it's a Saint Tropez lotion just like the normal bronzing lotion it fades really nicely pop a little bit of this on and a little bit of like normal moisturizer on my mitt so I've got like a little dollop of brown and then a little dollop of moisturizer and then I rub it on my body and it just blends in really nicely and goes a really nice color so I definitely recommend this one and it was only 20 pound it was on offer on Beauty Bay and some of you might remember in one of my older videos I tried the Revolution brow glue absolutely horrendous don't buy the revolution brow glue it's literally like super glue on your eyebrows like I couldn't even fill them in because they were that like it, it, my eyebrows felt like statues it was just not not the one so I decided to just get the next one like I'm used to and I got this on Beauty Bay as well Have you ever seen someone this happy about a little ceramic decoration before? <laughs> but I'm super, super happy that I've managed to get one because they just seem to be out of stock everywhere. So now we're just about to go home, but I did just want to have a quick look in Aldi because I've seen some cute little Christmas bits dotting around on Instagram. So I was just gonna have a quick look and see if they've got anything in there. So they've got some of their famous White Company dupe candles, a little botanical ones. This one's really pretty, it's called Nightfall. It's got like green foliage and blueberries. And then they've also got this winter one, which I literally can't grab because I'm too small. This one is Winter Spice, and it's got like a cinnamon stick in there. I think I might get that one, really cute. Got some Christmas lights, icicle ones, coloured ones, starry ones, this wreath. Yeah, they're quite pretty actually, aren't they? I love a star at Christmas. Three stars for the garden. How much are they? Ah, oh, twelve ninety nine is not bad. Could get some. Ooh, look at these. These are like the white company ones. You know when you can buy the ceramic white company ones and it comes with a little spray to spray on them. You've got Christmas trees and also stars. Mulberry and vanilla. I love anything vanilla. I think I'm going to have to get those. And then these ones are cypress and eucalyptus. Lovely. They're going right in my basket. <laughs> These little glass trees, if that's your vibe. 
Candy Cane Lane, that's cute if you like the traditional like red colours. And then this one, Gingerbread Kisses and Christmas Wishes. Another little traditional Christmas piece, a gingerbread stuff I just love. I wouldn't have it in my house but I do just love them. A paper Angel Garland, that's sweet. Ooh, look at these. Little Christmas trees, they're quite heavy actually. And are they light up as well? Yeah, they've got fairy lights on them. Love those. How much are they? $7.99. To be honest though, I do have... Tons of trees. <sighs> Excuse me, I didn't ask for your <laughs> You love those, don't you? I was just literally saying to Jay, last year from Aldi, I got some amazing Florentines. I we've just seen them now. They are so good. Shall we get some? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back from the shops and it is pitch black, but the lighting is fine because my new ring light is here. That's why I'm like glowing right now. But I feel like the light is not even being dodgy either. It's just like a nice crisp light. And now I can film after 5 p.m., which makes things so much easier for me because, well, especially like in the evenings after school, say so like I need to take a picture or something for Instagram and it's pitch black, I can just get my ring light out and at the weekend I'm not restricted to like getting everything done before like half four so I'm really pleased that I got that. So now I'm going to show you everything that I got from Hobbycraft in my online order and I also picked up a couple of things in store today as well and I also picked up a few things in Aldi to some amazing white company dupes, I can't even believe it. So let's get started, it's gonna be a nice Christmassy haul, affordable Christmas haul, what can be better? I'll start with the things that I picked up today. I just got three little things that I didn't see last time. So as you will have seen in the car and heard the whole story about this ceramic house, I managed to pick one up and they are just the cutest little decorations, aren't they? Like I said in a few videos before, I think, I have a set of three from Neptune that I got either last year or the year before and they look very, very similar to these ones. These ones are only really £2 each, they're adorable, they've got the little windows, a beautiful jute string. So I'm going to go back and try and get some more, but they just always seem to be sold out, but they are super adorable so I can see why. But at least I've got one to pop on my tree or one of my trees this year. And I got two of these like jute baubles with the little pearls on them. I thought they were really cute and again quite white company with like the jute vibe because I know that they bring out a lot of jute things all the time. They don't do anything like this obviously it's not a jute but they kind of it's kind of that vibe so I thought super adorable and I love these pearls all over them. They're like pom-poms like snow like for Christmas like snowballs and I thought they would be lovely to add to my tree. They'll go with my neutrals, they'll go with my new warm tones that I'm bringing in. So yeah I love those and they were maybe like two pound each or something really really cheap. So now I could unbox this big hobbycraft box and see what we've got in here. I actually can't even remember what I ordered, it's been that long. <laughs> it's been like two weeks I think. Everything is like wrapped up like this so we might be here a while everyone. <laughs> just gonna dip in and it can just be like a lucky dip because I have ordered like two of some things, three of some things I think I can't remember so I'm just gonna reach in, show you and if there's some repeats there's some repeats. Ooh, cute. Oh, this is like such a surprise for me because like I said, I've forgotten everything. So, surprise, another ceramic house. This is like elasticated ribbon, that's interesting. So, I thought this was adorable. Just a cute little white ceramic house and I thought nothing too crazy with just a little heart window. So I thought that would just be lovely on the tree, matched with my other pieces as well. I will try and leave all the links to everything I'm showing in the description box below, as always. Oh, look how adorable this is. A little ceramic reindeer. Again, white will go with all my neutrals really nicely. And it's got, is it gonna focus? It's got little eyelashes and little gold antlers as well. So that's another super cute decoration from Hobbycraft. And again, I think it was super cheap. Everything is usually super cheap from Hobbycraft, isn't it? Oh look, it's a little Christmas tree. I will definitely be adding this to my windowsill this year because I think I've mentioned this before. I have like a Christmas village on my windowsill because it's the only place I can pop a Christmas village in my small house. I don't have like a big grand fireplace or anything. I wish I did. Next year we're wanting to get a fireplace. So hopefully this time next year, I'll have a nice Christmas village on the fireplace on like the beam but we'll see but anyway we have in mind on the kitchen windowsill this year on a console table maybe we'll see and I will definitely be adding this little white ceramic Christmas tree into the mix I think I've ordered two of these maybe we'll see we'll see what else is in the box oh 
I forgot I ordered these. They're like jute again. They kind of match these ones. Ooh, lovely. So these are like plain jute with a tiny, if it'll focus, a tiny bit of like metallic running through it, like metallic string. Still quite cute and Christmassy. Kind of match these ones. Same ribbon as well. Forgot I ordered those, lovely. There's another one here, I think I ordered two of those. Lovely. That's another one of those Christmas trees. This box is so big, it feels like Mary Poppins bag. <gasps> another Christmas tree. <sighs> Don't hate me everyone. Oh, this is a hanging one. Cute. So yeah, as you can see, a hanging Christmas tree. It's kind of like 3D effect because it's got this little sticking out, sticky outfit at different angles. Another little addition to one of the Christmas trees this year will look lovely. Oh, this looks like something a bit bigger. I'm laughing because <laughs> it's another ceramic house. This could be no joke, maybe like in the 30s, in the 40s of the amount of ceramic houses that I've got, including hanging decorations and just like ornaments. I would say it could be creeping up to like 30 houses that I've got now, maybe more. I'll have to count them all one day and let you know on YouTube. But the, they had a Christmas tree shape ceramic house, which I, I'm sure I, I got last year. I was so sure. So I decided to leave those ones, but I definitely don't have this one. And I thought it looked super cute with the star. When there's a little tea light in there, the star will all be glowing and these little like circles here. I just thought that would be really lovely. And again, I can add this to my Christmas village on the windowsill as well. Next, I got this little hanging Christmas foliage. So as you can see, it's like wire, wrapped wire with a little hole there. So you can hang it on something like I could hang it if I show you, if I get rid of it. Ooh, for Christmas time, which looks lovely. Or you could hang it on like a mirror, you know, like at the top of a mirror, just to add a little bit of festive foliage, or you could hang it on the back of a door to be like a wreath, or like on a door handle. You could just hang it anywhere. And I just think it's so simple. I think this was really affordable as well. Nothing too crazy. Sorry, I've got a hair in my face. But we'll just add a really nice touch of like neutral Christmas. The eucalyptus is really soft, like a really light green colour. Quite realistic as well. And then you've got little frosted pine cones. I love this. I really, really love this. Could be one of my favourite things from the haul so far. Cute. Should we leave it up here? And a little bit of festiveness to the backdrop. Ooh. We've also got this very white company vibes. Imagine if this jute was all the way round, then it would be literally a white company jute. Maybe I could add more jute, more jute string all the way around. Ooh, I could do that. Now with me, I'll probably like mess it up and it would just look ridiculous, but I might try it. I might try it and then it's like a proper white company jupe. So as you can see, it's a cute little star wreath. In fact, it's not that little actually. It's quite big as you can see. It is quite a big wreath actually, so it would look gorgeous on the back of a door. Maybe it's a bit too big to hang on a peg shelf, I'm not sure, I'll have to try it. But it's gorgeous, the, the foliage on here is really realistic as well. You've got eucalyptus, you've got, I think is it fir, fir, fir stems. These little white berries are adorable. What else have you got? And then a little bit of, yeah, more fir at the bottom. It's gorgeous, I actually love it. And this, it's, it, oh. I'm filming this on the 4th of November, so obviously there's loads of bonfire parties going on tonight, so if you can hear big explosions, I am fine, it's just the fireworks. <laughs> I can't wait to pop this on one of the back of my doors when we get into the Christmas period. Well, we're basically in the Christmas period, aren't we? Well, we are in my world. <laughs> this is like never ending. Oh my goodness, look at this, so it's going to time me out. Sorry about that guys, I ran out of memory. Obviously filming too many videos. Well, I am having like little extra ones in the week. So lots of content going out on YouTube. So my camera is getting quite full. But next is this mini wreath, which is so beautiful, so realistic. Look at this. What is it? Is it, it doesn't say, it just says wreath. But I think it's like those Christmassy fur stems that it's meant to be. It's like a little small one. How gorgeous would this be with like a candle? in the middle, like a large candle from Neptune or like a large pillar candle or a botanical candle. It would look gorgeous. I don't think it has a little like hanging thing, but you can easily add 
that on currently with some jute string it would look beautiful on like the back of dining room chairs I've seen that before and it looks beautiful We're on a peg rail as well it's quite a good size for that isn't it I just thought it was lovely I think it was four pound really really cheap quite a nice size obviously it's a mini it's a mini wreath but quite a good size for different things I'm thinking definitely either hung on a peg or hung on like a like a handle in a bathroom or something to add a little bit of festiveness you could even have it like stood up on a shelf that would look lovely as well and considering it was only four pound I think it looks quite realistic and quite quite nice looking like it doesn't look overly cheap and you know plasticky I think it looks really lovely the dining room table is just full of Christmas let me see if I can show you <laughs> so much Christmas I love it oh I forgot I ordered this look at this Oh, did I order two? See, when I do when I do orders and then like I don't unbox them for ages, it's like a little gift from me to me and like thanking old me for ordering the things. <laughs> I forgot I ordered these, so these just say floral pick on them, but they're obviously not they're like frosted pine cones. Quite a mini stem. But I thought you could add them into some like festive bouquets to like Christmas it up a little bit or just on its own in like a smaller vase. You know like the Neptune Corinian vases, that's what I had in mind when I was ordering them. Don't think I've got any in this kitchen at the minute. I thought I could just show you quickly but in a small vase like that just twisted to the side slightly on like a TV stand or a coffee table or something or on a windowsill. Oh I'm so excited to style these. I just think... They add a little bit of Christmas, but nothing too crazy. Sometimes you just want little touches of foliage, of Christmas foliage here and there around the house. And I think these are perfect. I love those. I think I've got another one of those. Yep, I've got another one of those jute baubles with the metallic thread running through. What's in here? Oh, another one. What was I thinking? I've got four of these now. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, actually, oh, I see, right, now I see what I was thinking. I've got one in a big size and one in a small size. I wasn't going crazy ordering four of the same bauble. Next, we've got some warm wooden decorations, and I thought that these would go with my new amber baubles that I'll be popping on this year. It's kind of like mango wood, isn't it? I really love those, so a nice Christmas tree. And then I've also got an angel. I love an angel at Christmas. And then the last thing you'll be glad to know, or maybe, you, maybe you're not glad to know, maybe you just want this haul to keep going and going, that's what I'm usually like when I'm watching home decor hauls, but the last thing are another wooden decoration. These light wood Christmas trees. I thought they were adorable and they kind of remind me of the light wooden Christmas trees that I showed from Oh So Kel in my last small business Christmas haul. Very Studio Midi vibes with the light wood. And I thought these would be lovely on the tree as well. Will really match the new jute baubles from Hobbycraft that I just showed you. Wow, what a haul. What a haul from Hobbycraft. Just look at my table. <laughs> wow, amazing. Hobbycraft are coming through with the Christmas decor this year. You need to get to Hobbycraft. I mean, they're always good, aren't they? They're always good, whether it's Easter or... You know, they've got the pumpkins around autumn. They've always they've always got the cheap, affordable decor, but there's some really gorgeous pieces. They're like really good, stylish, staple pieces. I'm really pleased. I just need to get more of these houses. That's my mission. If you are local to me, like around the Preston, Lancashire area, and you see these houses anywhere, please message me and let me know because I need to get more of those. So now I will show you what I got from Aldi. And again, I was really pleasantly surprised with Aldi as well. I was on the hunt for some ceramic houses. I know I've got tons, but I was on the hunt for some ceramic houses that I'd seen on Instagram, but of course, couldn't find any because ceramic houses just obviously sell out instantly for some reason so I couldn't find any of those but I was pleasantly surprised at the things that I did find. Will have seen me show this tree in the shop and I was actually going to leave it. Can you believe that I was actually going to leave this on the shelf but it's because I already have quite a lot like this or maybe like like I've got the Ikea one from last video and I've got two from a small business but they don't light up Okay, so that was my justification for guessing this. They don't light up. And this comes with batteries as well. How good is that? So you just unwrap this little bag. It was £8, I think. So you unwrap the little bag and then it comes on this little, like, stone thing. Switch the light on. <gasps> and it lights up. And I just think it's adorable. You could add some teeny tiny decorations on here. You know, like the teeny tiny white company ones. Will look super cute. Or just plain. 
I just think it looks really cute, rustic farmhouse kind of vibe with this like jute bag and it was quite affordable. £8 for a light up tree with this on as well with this hessian. I thought it was really really cute and a really good find from Aldi so I love that. I'm going to turn it off now because I want to save it for Christmas time. And then I also got one of their botanical candles. They had the Seychelles dupe, they had Midnight, was it Midnight something? Again, another White Company dupe, and then they had Winter Spice. And it's just giving White Company vibes, isn't it? There's so many of these botanical candles around in the shops now, all duping the gorgeous ones from the White Company. I do love the White Company ones as well. I've got one on there. Let me get it, actually, to show you the comparison. I've got a winter one upstairs from last year that I didn't burn all the way down because I just get sad burning them because they're quite expensive, so I don't burn them all the time. This is an autumn one also from last year that I didn't properly burn but it's going down a little bit now. This is a white company one, this is the Aldi one. As you can see the white company wax is like a little bit whiter and this one's more like yellow tone but that's only because I'm comparing them side by side like it's like if you just saw that on its own you wouldn't think oh it's a darker colour wax. They've got the little bits of foliage and fruit and stuff and cinnamon sticks in the wax. It's just that kind of look, isn't it? Botanical look. Yeah, I love that. And I think it was only like £5 something, which is such a good price for a big chunky candle like that. And then what else did I get? Oh, yes, these. These are so good. I was really shocked when I saw these. The White Company, you will have seen if you are a White Company lover, they do these little sets of ceramic decorations and they come with a little room spray, like a little spray, Christmas spray, that you can spray on them and it's meant to like hold the scent to make your decorations and your Christmas tree smell nice. Love them. I've got a set that I get down every year. I think it's, is it like hearts or is it stars? I think it could be stars actually. So these ones from Aldi are obviously inspired by the White Company ones. So we've got a set of six Christmas trees and the little room spray that comes with it is Cypress. I think that's how you pronounce that. Cypress and Eucalyptus. Smells very Christmassy. And I think the Christmas trees look adorable. And white ceramic, can't go wrong with white ceramic. But these ones especially are very white company because the white company do sell the star version. And this scent is mulberry and vanilla. And you know, I'm obsessed with anything vanilla. Like I love anything sweet. So I can't wait to get these on the tree. Maybe I could have like three on one tree, three on the other tree. So I've got like a mixture of my two trees. But I thought they were fab. And I think they were maybe five pound each or four pound something each. Do I have the receipt? So yeah, they were $4.99 each. The Hessian tree was $7.99. The candle was $5.99. And then I got some sweet treats as well, which I'll show you. But how, how good is all that deco from Aldi? Really, really good. Really good dupes. I love those. And then we were sucked in as we walked down the Christmas food section. Florentines. I got these last year and they taste so good. Milk chocolate and salted caramel Florentines. Love those and we're not saving them for Christmas. We're going out for a date night tonight. We're going to a restaurant that we've never been to before that's been recommended to us in Croston. So we're going on a little date night and then we're going to come back, have a cup of tea and eat our Christmas chocolates. Just the perfect night. Can't wait. And then we also got some of these Belgian chocolate caramel thins and there's like milk chocolate, white chocolate, and dark chocolate. Jake likes dark chocolate, so he can have those and I can have the milk and the white. So that is everything. I feel like I've shown you so much there, but when the shops are cheap and affordable, I can show you tons because everything's just super cheap and affordable. So what was your favorite? I cannot decide, I love everything. Obviously, ceramic house, I love that light up tree. I love the candle. I love these little, Pinecone stems from Hobbycraft, couldn't remember that. I love this as well, a little star wreath. I honestly love everything. And this as well, how could I forget that? So yeah, obsessed with everything as always. Let me know what your favourites were down in the comments and let me know if you're going to treat yourself to any of the new decor from Hobbycraft or Aldi. And I hope you enjoyed watching this Christmassy shopping vlog, seeing what was in the shops. If you're loving the Christmas content, I would love if you could subscribe as well to stay with me for more videos. And I will see you very soon with a brand new Christmas Christmasy video. Bye!